Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. This is SD Atelier. Thank you so much for clicking this video. In today's tutorial, we will be learning how to draft a corset with yoke. To start, as usual, we will be needing a bodice block. If you have not seen my video on bodice block, please kindly do. I will leave the link in the description box below. Okay, so I have my bodice block here. This is the center front and this is the center back. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to impute my bust radius. The bust radius I'm working with is 7.62, which is about 3 inches. So I'm going to start from the bust point, then I'll start imputing it. I'll put dot on 7.62 cm, 7.62 cm. I'll start marking it all around the bust uh, point. Okay, so now I'm going to connect the dots together to form a circle. This is just a guide. Okay, then I'll come to the shoulder. If you have seen my video on bodice block, you know I have ease on my bodice block. So I'm going to remove the ease, 1.5 cm from the uh, chest line, 1.5 cm. Then I'll come to the waist because I want it to be close fitting. I'll remove 0.5 cm also, 0.5 cm on both front and back. Okay, then I'll connect it. I'll connect the point. Okay, so the next thing is to separate the front from the back. So I'll just cut like so. Then I'll work on the front first. Okay, so now I want to transfer the dart, the shoulder dart to the center of the shoulder. So I'll get the midpoint of the shoulder. Okay, then I'll connect it. I'll join it to the boss point. Okay, then I'm going to take my scissors, slash it open. Okay, so now I'm going to fold one of the dart legs. I'll fold it to overlap the other. Then just use my maxing tape to max it down. Okay, so now I'm going to take a fresh paper, just place it under the new uh, dart, that opening. Then I'll just use my masking tape, tape it down. Okay, then now I'm going to redraw the new dart now, so I can see it. Okay, so now I'll just draw a line at the underboss. Okay, then I'll mark 1 cm on each side of the dart. Then connect it to the waist dart. Okay, then connect it to the boss point also in a slightly curved line. Okay, so on the dart leg now, the shoulder dart, I'll just come up by 1 cm. Then, okay, I'll just connect to the arm side, the arm area in a slightly curve. Then connect to the center front.
Okay, now I'll go in by half an inch from the center front. This is to guide the cup. I want to draw the cup. Okay, then I'll connect it to the underboss. Then at the side front now, I'll just go in like 3 cm, which is about a point after an inch. Then at the underboss, I'll still mark like 0 0.5. This is just to guide the curve. Then I'll connect it. Now I'll do the same also, 0 0.5 cm. Then connect in a nice curve to join the half an inch at the center. Okay, now I'll cut the yoke out. So on the yoke, I'll just close the shoulder that. Then I'll just cut, I'll trace it out, cut the excess off. So I have the yoke, now I want to work on the down part. So on the shoulder that I'll just mark 1cm out, you can use half an inch, it depends on you. But I'll mark 1cm on each side of the leg, then connect the nice curve to the boss point. Make it as round as possible so it won't be pointy. Okay, now I'll cut. Okay, so after cutting, just make sure you label so you not mismatch it when sewing. For the back, you can leave the yoke the way it is or you can be creative about it. You can go lower, but I'll just go slightly lower. Okay, then label. It is very important to label, then cut out. So for the cup, I want to work uh, a little on it because it has an uneven edge. So what I did was just to trace it down on a fresh uh, paper. Then I'm going to use uh, my ruler now to correct the uneven edge at the bust area. Okay. Sometimes I will go out by uh, 0 0.5 cm at the bust uh, point. Okay, just to enhance the cup. But then I'll use my ruler to just correct like so. Okay. 
So I'm going to do the same to the other bust cup. Okay, so I have the second part of the cup drawn on the paper. So I'm going to enhance it just like I did to the other one by 0 0.5. I use my ruler to connect it. Make sure it's round, not pointy. So I'm going to cut out the first part of the cup now. I'm going to match it up to see if one is longer or shorter than the other. Okay boss point to the boss point so i discovered the side front is slightly longer so i'll just mark it then the down part okay is the same it's the same so i'm going to reduce the top just use my ruler to rule it like so then cut the excess off the new line I'm cutting on the new line now all right so i have the other parts now so I have it all here. So I'm going to place it on fabric and cut two each. So, okay, this the center front is going to be on fold. So I'm going to put a rectangle sign there. And the yoke, the front yoke also is going to be on fold. I'll put rectangle. The others I'll just put times two. That means I'm cutting two of them. Boot lining and fabric. Okay. And I'll add seam allowances all round. Okay, now I have it on my fabric. I added half an inch all round it for joining the center front on fold, half an inch. Then the side front I added one inch, then half an inch. The zipper side I added one inch, then half an inch all round it. Then the side back I added one inch, then half an inch all round it. The yoke for the front, I cut two because I'm going to line it. Okay, then the back, I cut four. Two is going to be for lining also. All right. So I also have lining on the other, on the main fabric also. I did lining, two piece each. Okay, then for the cup, I'm going to use the thick interfacing. It's cheaper, but you can use your cup. So I'm just going to use this. I'll cut it out. Then for... The down part, because tutorial, for tutorial purpose, I'll just use a paper stay just to hold it. I have it all fused with interfacing. You can use a different interfacing. I'm using paper stay because it's just for tutorial purpose. Okay, so now I'm going to join the panels together by half an inch, both front and back. And also on the lining, I will join the panels together also. Okay, then for the cup, I went ahead and cut uh, the thick interfacing, have it cut two pieces each. So now I'm going to trim off the joining allowance on the interfacing, just the interfacing. I'll trim it off, then join the main fabric and the lining together at the center. So I have the panels joined together, both the lining and the main fabric. So the next thing is to join the sides together. I have one inch allowance there, so I'll just join it together like so. Okay, now uh, for the cup, I have it cut out. I just want to show you something on the interfacing that I use. I cut the upper part off too, 
okay the sewing allowance at the top i cut it off and the joining allowance at the middle i cut it off too please watch my bustier video so that you understand it more how to create this uh, cup okay so the next thing i'm going to remove the pins So I'm going to use my zigzag machine or my um, hand needle to stitch it together in a zigzag way. Please kindly watch that video. You will understand it more. Okay, so I have the cup uh, stitched out. I use my needle to stitch it in a zigzag way, like I said before. Okay, so before fixing or attaching the cup to the uh, the down part what I'm going to I want to show you how to use your original boning Okay, I'm going to show you how to use it on the lining But it's better use on the main fabric or whatever you prefer anyway I've ironed my rigid boning It's best if you iron it Then I cut it in a way that I have uh, like three quarter up Three quarter down We can actually use half an inch Just to have enough allowance for joining So I use my masking tape to tape the top and the down so it will not be pricking when you wear it okay so i'll just place it like so then stitch the edge on each side okay i'll just stitch it down you can place it as many as you want even the side you can also place it just be creative about it Okay, so I'm done fixing the bony. So now I want to attach the cup. This is the lining part, so I'll just stitch it down like so. Okay, so on the main fabric also, I'll stitch it down. But before then, I'm going to join the cup to the fabric. I will stitch it down at the bottom like so just stitch it down okay then I'll now fix it on the main fabric I'm done with fixing the curb area okay so the next thing is to work on the yoke okay so this is the front I'll place it together like so okay then I'll stitch the neck half an inch. Then the arm side, the arm area, I'll stitch it down also by half an inch. Then for the back, you know, I have four. So I'm going to take it two each. Okay, so I'm going to stitch the neck and the arm area. Then the zipper area also, I'm, I'll just stitch maybe like quarter just to turn it in. So I'll do the same to the other side of the back also. So after stitching the neck and the arm O, so I'll just take the back uh, yoke, I'll turn it inside out. Okay, so then I'll open the front and insert the back shoulder into the front shoulder. Remember, I did not turn the front. I only turn the back okay then I'll stitch it down at the shoulder I'll make sure I set it well so that there won't be any fold then just stitch it down then do the same to the other side okay so now the next thing is to fix the yoke on the main fabric so I'll just place the center to center like so I'll use pin to hold it down also the back I'll place it also use pin to hold it down then I'll place the lining then stitch it from the center front to the back then I'll do the same to the other side also so I'm done stitching down okay so this is it I have the yoke like so okay so now i went ahead to notch the inside i notch okay so then i can understitch so that the lining will stay in place 
Then after understitching, I can sew the zipper side just a little, maybe like quarter inch, just for neat finishing. Okay, so before turning the zipper side, I decided to add body to the main fabric just the way I did on the lining. But please, if you want to add body to the main fabric, make sure you add it before you attach your cup. It's easier that way. So I did the same. My left allowance at the bottom for turning the down part. So the next thing I'm going to do now is just, I'll just stitch it at the bottom. Then I'll leave one side of the zipper open so that I'll be able to turn it from there. Then attach the zip. Okay, so this is the way it's looking before fixing the zipper. I've turned the bottom. You can as well add as many bony as you want, the more the structure it will give. Okay, so now I left one part open, the zipper side, so I will just turn it from inside there. So after turning now, the next thing is to fix the zip. Here is the back view looking nice. Okay, and this is the front looking nice also. So I'm going to cut the excess zipper off and that is it. Please don't forget to subscribe. Give it a thumbs up. You can also share across all platforms. It means so much to me. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.